Hello guys, welcome back to Tectonica. This is your friendly neighborhood gamer, Ghostly Games TV. And we're back guys. I got so excited for the game I couldn't stop playing so I had to record right after the last episode. As you can see I did some work here, planted quite a bit of power floors around, started setting up. I'm using this one to check out all the recipes to see what I need for uh, future recipes like automating belts, research calls and stuff like that. So what I've done here, I disconnected this one for uh, copper frames because I didn't see any of these guys using copper frames. So I disconnected it for now. This one I got on uh, what is this? copper components and then this one is copper wire. I've taken out quite a bit of it as you can see in my inventory. I've taken quite a bit out. This one I got on uh, mechanical components because I see almost everything uses this. So this one is constantly running. If I can get the iron to keep up. Yeah, we got uh, iron components and iron frames. And here you can see we have a fast inserter using the belt. Alright, we have the fast inserter on the belt inputting iron fast here. And so far, I disconnected this one also for now because I have quite a bit of iron frames in my inventory. And to have these two run because these two are mostly used. Then what else did I, uh, oh yeah, I set up this one so far because as you can see I started clearing out a bit here. Uh, here we have limestone. This is going to be our limestone production. It's been running for a bit. And I've been using it to craft these fire bricks. Because just a quick, just, just to tease your mind a bit. If you look at plant matter, you can see the, the fuel power just above the stock. It says 5. This one is 2. Those don't have any. And then you go to bio brick. Fuel power is 35. So bio brick is definitely the way we want to go. So I'm planning on upgrading. I was just waiting for you guys to, before I bring that. As you can see, I have my 500 ingot and 500 copper. So that we can finish that task and as you can see my tower of research cores are coming quite along uh, let me just crank this guy i'm getting tired of cranking these guys like seriously we need to upgrade at least if i can just crank like one and then crank the rest that would be best but yeah i'm getting tired of cranking man okay let's upgrade because this is what i've been waiting for so let's feed it that and that and repeat them. Terminal upgraded. New technologies and recommended tasks available. It's time to put those crank generators and power floors to use, Breaker. To make plant matter frames, you'll need planters and threshers, and they only run on electricity. After you grow and thresh kindle vine, you'll need to thresh the kindle vine stems it produces a second time to turn them into plant matter fiber. And then, you can either craft the plant matter frames by hand, or build an assembler to do it for you twice as fast. And that's a lot of new tech to activate. So if you haven't built a core composer yet, now is the time. Oh, I've built one already. I've built one. Yeah, these are all of the logs and stuff that you can go through, where they give you a task, and everything that she says you can view here. So now you can see we have new tasks. We need 180 plant matter frames, 2400 iron ingots, 2400 copper ingots. Holy crap! And then we still need to do the 40 processing units. And then now we have a decipher signal HA 1976 by using an assembler to craft and place an unknown number of accumulators on a power floor. So I don't know, do they want us to use a assembler to craft accumulators? Let me just check here in our journal because usually they will tell us. Uh, yes, yeah. Bolt and place and charge eight accumulators. 
already have two. Alright, so we already have two, so we need six more accumulators. Okay, let's see if we didn't unlock anything automatically. You might want to try crafting a few bio bricks, Breaker. They'll burn a lot longer than plant matter, and at some point you'll probably want to set up a production line that can feed them directly into your machines. Long inserters might be your friends on that one. Yeah. Alright guys, so I've been, as you can see, I've been busy. The reason for that is because, as you can see now, now we have some more things. Now here is another one, Biodense 2, increases the bio brick density by 25% And here is what we want, Threshers, the planters We'll come back for this one to increase Increase the crafting speed, no we don't want any crafting speed for now Now let's see here, the fast inserters We need to do full three inserters which we will do now. Let me see what else we have. Oh, the hover pack. Yeah, let's activate the hover pack, baby. Now, here's what we want the accumulators and crank connect. Automatically connect, crank generate this place parallel. Well, I have just enough of it. That's what we want. Enable the to redesign, reassign the usage. Here's the process. We need another 30 research calls. Which we can do easily. I'm just making quite a few. Task inbound. Thresher. Supply with resources to produce a variety of organic goods. Electrical power required. Task inbound. Okay, Planter. Okay, Supply with ready. seeds to rapidly reproduce fully grown flora. Electrical power required. There we go, there it updated. Okay, so now as you can see, as soon as you place a crank, it connects. So this will make things a lot easier by cranking some power. But all you just do is you just come here, you crank one, it cranks all of it. And boom, instantly we have 1800 kilowatts per minute. And here we have our accumulators which we are going to set up. The reason why I built my power energy source here, except for the beautiful waterfall and sound and the ambience it makes, is because we're going to use this river by generating those, uh, I think it's hy hydro pumps, I think it's important. I might be expanded to be corrected, but. Yes, we use the water to crank the generators automatically, which means infinite power. So, now we need to get, alright, make ourselves a hover pack, of course. Here's the planters and threshers that we're gonna set up now. But what we want is this. Alright, we need six. Okay, there's our six. Now, Very good question. That hover pack. Here we go. All right, so you. Okay, so you double double press you double press space bar and then you can hover. Now the question is how does it work? How do you go down? How do you go up? But anyhow, what we need to place now is our accumulators. Alright, there we have our eight accumulators. And they are 
restoring power. Journal say storing energy store 80,000 kilowatts of power. And complete. There we go, we have completed that one. Alright. Now, here we just go and crank just one, two generators, and then we're up and running, guys. Alright. Looks like this hover pack only works when you you see when you're on top of a power floor. When you go off the power floor, go back on, go back off. I don't know. What do they what do they say about the hover pack? Enhances top down perspective for efficient planning. Anyhow. Yeah, it makes it a bit Alright, so guys, uh, what, how to plan, how to plan. I'm thinking of running my bus lines from there and running it through there and then coming through the middle, running the main bus lines. Then I'll have my assemblers on the sides feeding back onto a new line in the bus line. And then putting them down a new assembler when it needs something else. But for that to work, I need to seriously output iron and copper. And to do that, we need a better fuel source. And to do that, we need to work on this plant and thresher thing that we need to do. So, that's why I started clearing out this area here. Because we're gonna start our planter and thresher area right about here. Because it needs, as you see here, we have our planters. So, where are they? I'm gonna go to my hot bar. Yeah, there we go. And then thresher just so that we can put it down and see what it needs to do so here we have a planter and we have a thresher so a planter takes seeds it takes these kin kindle vine kindle vine seeds i'm pretty sure we get these from harvesting those kindle plants so there is a set amount of them in the game to the amount you can harvest. So this thing will take the seeds and then if I'm not mistaken it will output Kindle of which we can feed it into the thresher and it makes uh, let me show you here it will make these plant fibers and then we can use these plant fibers together with limestone to make fire bricks so then we get an automated resource so let's start obviously limestone is going to come running through here right so we can if that's instead of so we can use this brick so we need to use this planter just a bit up because we're going to use this line for the belt of limestone because all our miners are going to be here so they're going to output limestone on this belt that's going to feed around here which will go into our threshers and then we might need to move a bit more back so that we can have two belts moving so we can have two belts let me see how this is going to work if let's say we have our belts running through here going through here and we're gonna have our threshers around here 
Hmm. We might need to use long search because if we have another belt, let's say for instance running from here, going here, with the Kindle and Limestone, then that means we can probably have, if this is going to be all our planters, then our threshers will be probably be around here. So we're going to be outputting it somewhere around here. Feed this thing and see what happens so that we can properly plan. So let's make another uh, five five because I also don't want to push it too far that side because it's going to interfere with our production line. So I might just push the planters maybe f too wide going this direction because of course this storage chest is not going to be here so we might have something like this where these guys will output this side like onto the belt going this direction So for input, input we might use just a normal chest for now. Yeah, this might take this might take a bit of finicking to get the proper. I think I'm funny for thinking this but we have quite a bit of headspace what if we made a second floor on top just for the threshers and planters and we push it out second floor this way we have our planters coming out into threshers threshers going down and we can feed it back into the machines for fuel As we can see here, it produced these Kindle Vine, right? So these Kindle Vine go back into here. And they produce seeds and Threshing initiated. Be advised that all generated outputs must be relieved for production without disruption. Okay, so as you can see, we got more Kindle seeds and some more plant matter. So now this is where the filter inserters will come because if you can see here, we have an outputs, outputs here, and we have inputs here. So what we can do is we put filter inserters output onto one belt straight back into here for the seeds and then here you output onto another belt. I wonder can we put yeah we can put these back in and then we get 
Kindle Vine Extract. Task inbound. Double threshing. Thresh kind loving to produce kind loving stems. Thresh kind loving stems to produce plant matter fiber. Assemble plant matter fiber into plant matter frames. Alright, let's have a look here. You guys have fuel power of three. Two. So what do we use to make bricks? We need these guys. So that means we have to thresh twice to make fire bricks. Hmm. So it means we're gonna have a double setup. These guys might have to feed. So we're gonna have like two lines. One line for threshing one and then outputting back into the seeds and another one outputting back into these guys making us plant matter and then they output into an assembler making bio bricks together with all right this is this is quite a this is quite a a thing to sort out so uh guys i'll bring you back when i have something along the lines of a working working plant hopefully all right see you guys now all right welcome back guys uh i've been playing around with it see what you need and all those things and yeah as you can see some of my machines have run out of fuel because i've been playing around here I've been trying to figure out what way would be best because I've noticed that this thing when you when you give it these vines these uh, creep uh, what is it what are the vines what are the vines called again uh, Kindle vine as soon as you give one Kindle vine you'll notice that it does not come on about it does not give you a hundred percent return on that kindle vine like there our first kindle vine got a seed the second the second kindle vine did not give a seed the third kindle vine did not give a seed here's the fourth one no seed so these seeds, as you can see, my box has run out almost. These seeds are not a hundred percent return. So, and I've gone out and harvested a bit of all of these plants. And as you see here, I had 15 in my inventory, still 15. It doesn't give you seeds. So you need to go and find those these kindle vine plants here when you harvest these ones you see 16 17 so we need to harvest these plants to get more seeds and eventually we're gonna run our seeds or we just need to go harvest a lot of kindle vine set up our progress and then just hope that by the time our seeds run out that we've come up with another idea of getting something else because i've been looking trying to do a, a system here for everything and then it's actually quite a complicated system I'll, I'll go and show you now. Let me just see. See, so I got like 60 seeds again. Let me go show you. There's a lot of process involved in just making that little bit of uh, plant fiber frames and uh, crank my machine again. Oh, these machines. 
at least it's easier now with just cranking just one machine instead of all 15 of them but yeah i'm running out of fuel so i'm trying to get this fuel okay but let's get to it let's start with the planters you get into your seats these planters make kindle wine kindle wine goes into a thresher a thresher outputs maybe one and five of the seed and outputs these kindle kindle goes into a second thresher it outputs these kindle vine extracts and plant fiber plant fiber these so far that i've seen we use it to make accumulators so far that i've got here yeah, you see you need these extracts for accumulators then these plant fibers go into an assembler an assembler takes them and takes them into plant matter then you take that plant matter transfer it into another one another assembler making bio brick together with limestone and on this side i'm making uh, plant matter frames already have like almost 180 that we need just from playing around this system but as you can see this is quite a slow process i've even put i've taken i had two of these guys running here and then i took it off and then i added a second miner here just to speed up the process because as you can see here i've been backing up on this and i've been backing up on this because this machine is not producing fast enough and then this one is also not producing fast enough. so i'm not getting limestone fast enough to produce the amount needed so yeah this is quite a process this is just a temporary setup because i was trying to see uh, what you need in order to get the bio bricks and yeah this is quite a setup this is gonna be one hell of a setup and even here you can see this thing is backing up i've been thinking about even swapping it around and having the four outputs on this side so you can just output this plant matter extracts And I'm definitely not producing enough. I'm definitely not producing enough limestone to feed this machine. Hmm. So yeah, it's, it's still a working progress. Still trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, here I've already like 120, 162 science cores going in there because I want to lock some things, cranking them up again. I've been crafting this uh, accumulators as they go so that I can have substantial amount of power and not running to the crank generators every few seconds. So yeah, because power runs out quite fast. Let's see here. Does it say how much how much we are using? As you can see the threshers and planters are using quite a bit of power. But yeah. This tower is coming quite quite a long. I love how this thing stacks itself. I wonder how high it will go before it hits the ceiling or will it just stop? We'll see. But anyhow, I got some more seats for this machine to keep on running. I've been keeping a few with me just for in case I run out of seats, but so far... Now, the Kindle has been backing up here now because of this. So it looks like we can add some fast inserters here. 
producing us so that you can keep producing mechanical components luckily uh, those things are automating but soon like there you can see I'm running out of fuel so I'm gonna have to go and do some more grindy for some plant matter so that I can just have my machines running again Because this thing is definitely not producing fast enough to keep up with all of the machines that we need to do. At least now it should be able to keep up with the limestone. A little bit. turn around, rotate it away because we have enough for the task we'll eventually find out why we need it but for now we'll switch it out and have all of them go into this machine so this machine can produce plant matter and then hopefully we'll get a bigger production in bricks but my worry is the seeds my worry is the seeds. It's a big issue for me. Because I'm also thinking of making a separate How many bricks do I have in here? Not four hundred. And we need almost two and a half thousand ingots for the terminal hmm. yeah this is quite a complicated supply a thresher with soul shiver thorn buds to begin the coolant tutorial Coolant reduces mold overheating and involves processing sugar thorn product. Okay, research cores. Activate research core for a blue ink detector to begin the research core. Specialized technology requires stored electrical charge from accumulators on a per core basis. Okay, then here. This thing wants us to put an assembler to craft accumulators. We can do that manually, just so that we can complete the task. Uh, accumulators. Electrical components. What do we need for the electrical components? Iron, copper. Why is not a problem? I'm making wire. Problem is iron. Iron, as you can see, I'm running out of fuel here. I seriously need to go on a fuel run. Really, I need to go on a fuel run. Why? I have a lot. I have a ton of wire. messing around with it during between episodes to see if I can
cannot refine this one a lot better and then by the time when I come back I will be probably see probably have been harvesting all of this biomatter just to keep my my things afloat and I need to go renew my power again. So yeah guys this is me this is your friendly neighborhood gamer ghost I'll see you on the next episode guys thanks for watching eh give me some feedback how was this episode for you this time I left out the background music because I was a lot focused uh, probably on the next one I'll probably do more background music because I'm gonna do a lot of it more farming but this one I was just messing around with the planters the threshers to see you and trying to get our bio bricks up and running for the fuel source but it looks like it's not going so well in my favor but anyhow guys see you around cheers